going to make another one for the other side, which I'll show you that now. probably wondering why Steve's bike is back on the ramp a little story behind that but he won't be in this video as he was in the last because he's in bed with Covid so he won't be going to Belgium after all so I think he's gonna go on another trip somewhere else but we've come across a problem with his bike he had an air leak suddenly appear while he was on the dual carriageway and it uh, did a little damage to his piston and we found out who was the culprit or what? It was this inlet manifold rubber. And it simply bends and opens up. And once the uh, gasket sealant uh, with the heat had failed in the middle, it can't hold because the, the manifold's just bent. And that created his air leak. So after 200 kilometers of nice riding, this started to leak and created him a nasty little air leak. So, we've got a fix. We're gonna show you how it's done. So if anybody else has come across this problem with a bendy rubber inlet manifold, it bends and then creates an air leak. Never mind, we'll fix it. Right, I'm not 100% sure this will work and show you. And that's why it's leaking. So this is simply bending. The plate in here needs to be, this plate inside needs to be thicker. I don't know whether you picked that up. We had a straight edge on it. I don't know whether it was filming. And uh, there's a gap right in the middle. It simply isn't flat. Now, Steve's had uh, penny washers on here and Allen bolts, and it, it wasn't too tight. It hasn't been over tightened, but as far as I can see. It's simply that this manifold just bends like, like a banana. It's just, it's just not strong enough. Uh, the plate that's inside here is gonna have to be much thicker if you wanna stop that bending. But we don't have that option at the moment because this needs to get back on the road. So what I've got is I've made this plate and as you can see, it's got this reinforcing piece here to stop it bending. That will fit on the top, like that. And that will now stop our manifold from bending. Because we've got the equivalent of about 15 mil. <laughs> so I've got to make another one for the other side, which I'll show you that now. Right, we're making it out of a simple piece of uh, aluminium angle. So we can drop this one on. This is going to go on the other side, opposite to the one we've got. So we'll just mark around this with a pencil.
Right, let's uh, get our new manifold on. Hopefully it's good. So we're going to go for some three bond on here. To be sure, to be sure, the tube seems to be a little blocked. But And a little smear on the back of the manifold as well. We do not want this to leak. And we're going to do a pressure test on it. We'll give it about 10 or 15 minutes for the uh, three bond to cure a bit. And we should be able to test it. So that goes on with our sealant nicely. Then we've got uh, these uh, Allen bolts with the little uh, domed with the uh, wide washers there to spread the load, which fit nicely. And hopefully it all fits together. I haven't actually tested it yet, see if it does fit, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. Look at that, beautiful, straight on. First time, no issues. Now, it's just the end of the Allen key I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna put any force on it. There's no need, because it's a rubber manifold. It should seal really well. Now it's got some, now it's got these plates in to stop it bending. That's it. And I've only used the end mark. Right, we'll give that 10 minutes to cure a bit and then we'll pressure test it. And hopefully these plates now are going to completely stop that bending of the manifold. Well, last time we tried that, it absolutely pissed out. You can literally feel the air gushing out onto your hand. So that's a massive improvement. Well, I think that's a victory. Tune in Fred strikes again. <laughs> Always comes back to haunt you. Right. We've now got a PWK carburetor on it, instead of his Del Auto, yet another Del Auto for my crusher. <laughs> well, PHBH with a little 21mm PWK and I've just test driven it and uh, I can't say that he's lost very much power at all but I'm sure he's gonna 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 be far better on fuel than this 30mm going down to a 21 for doing touring because that's what Steve likes I've convinced him it's the way to go let's hope he's happy anyway 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all later. Like a bird on a tree About 15 mil. <laughs> I'm just sitting so I've got to make another one for the other side, which I'll show you that now. I got time.